Namaste, Sitaram. A pleasant mo good morning to all of you. Welcome to Rudraya. I am your host, Nisha Sharma. Rudraya is being brought to you by the kind compliments of Maha Rujadev Mandir, located at 850 Tapscott Road, Unit 48 in Scarborough. On behalf of Maha Rujadev Mandir, we would like to thank you for attending last night our 21 Bhajan Mala dedicated to Mother Lakshmi. For the upcoming segments of Rudraya, we will be showing you clips of our Bhajan Mala. Without further ado, we will join our spiritual leader, Pandit Ravi Sharma, for a Diwali message. Om Bhakaratunda Mahakaya Surya Bhuti Samaprabha Nirvignam Gurume Deva Sarvakari Om Shanti, 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 Hari Om. Sri Raj Shakti Jagadambi Mata Ki Jai. Dear devotees, once again, we are fortunate to be on this program, Rudraya, as a medium and self-to channel, the glories of the Divine Lord. Each and every one of you will be making preparation. Early next week, we'll be celebrating the Pavali on Wednesday the 22nd. And so all of you will be celebrating Diwali in all different means and methods and how you've been taught. This morning, I'd just like to share with you a few thoughts on Mata Lakshmi. Om beneficent, the most benevolent, Devi Lakshmi, as she is remembered, especially in this holy month of Kartik, she is called as the bestower of all wisdom. She is called as the one who removes all ills from our life. She removes all sorrows from our life. To this Devi Mata, the bestower of light, the dispel of all darkness, to you, Devi Mata, we make our salutation. It is said that Mata Lakshmi or Lakshmi is called as the goddess of wealth. She is called as the goddess of prosperity. You must have heard from the wise, the gurus, the saintly ones. And so they indicate this type of wealth, which is both material, but more importantly, spiritual wealth. It is said that she is called as the goddess of wisdom, she is called as the goddess of fortune, she is called as the goddess of fertility, she is called as the goddess of generosity, she is called as the goddess of courage. So much 
she is called and the list goes on and on devotees mata lakshmi is called as the bringer of good luck in a holy month of kartik and this most special time that she is remembered as devi lakshmi and we should analyze the word lakshmi and what does lakshmi itself imply what does lakshmi itself mean it is said that lakshmi itself is the element that is derived from the word laka meaning to perceive or to observe and this is synonymous with laksha which means the aim or the objective itself in life and so the hindu sacred texts they call us mata lakshmi or lakshmi vidhi or lakshmi hi which means that she is the one who has the object and the aim of uplifting mankind of uplifting you and i as time itself we may think that everything is perfect but we are all caught up in a slumber so by praying to mata lakshmi in such manner and asking of the divine mata lakshmi she helps us uplift us from this slumber devi lakshmi is called as shri shri the epithets of the lord is addressed with great reverence as shri meaning that she is endowed with the divine qualities of bhaga or gunas and so this epithet is given to her she is indicated as shri lakshmi narayan she is called as the consort she is called as the power of the lord narayan such as what we call as the shakti principle devotees it is said that mata lakshmi herself is remembered and she is worshiped in all different ways and so i would just like to glorify the divine mother aise bhidayini Siddhidayini, buddhidayini, that spiritual powers can be bestowed upon an individual who desires it. But one should aspire for buddhi. Buddhi means illumine our intellect and Mata Lakshmi surely. She gives this type of spiritual wisdom. For when we have this type of spiritual wisdom, then this is what we call as God blessing. The word is, she is called as the universal form of Shakti. In fact, Chandipat, the Devi Mahatam, the 700 verses and praises of the Divine Mother, it begins with the second part and it tells us about how the Divine came as Lakshmi to aid in the cause of the Shakti principle. It is not that Lakshmi is different from Shri Durga, it is not that Lakshmi herself is different from Mata Saraswati or Mata Kali. No, she is the same benevolent one who comes and assumes a form as Shri Durga, Shri Lakshmi, Shri Saraswati. Devotees, on a day like this Diwali, on a day that we're entering, a time like this, we begin our worship with the Lord, with reverence and with faith, with devotion. And we ask of the Divine Mother, that Mother, that may you bless us and may you make us an instrument for society. Devotees, I want to take this opportunity in thanking you all for once again for listening to the simple message. I want to encourage you all to, when you light this light on this Diwali, minimum should just be two. Light more than two, five. If someone has died, then five is sufficient. If you have the means and the ways, then light more and monitor it as responsible individuals. But let the light itself that is lit let it become a source of inspiration. This is how a li one light is lit, and so many and thousands can be lit. So to be like this light, 
spread your joy, spread your generosity, spread your kindness to those who are deserving, those who are in need, those who are in sick, lend a hand, help out in such manner. Devotees, I conclude in a prayer to Mata Lakshmi. <laughs> As I end off at this point, I would just say to remind you all on Wednesday the 22nd, we will be celebrating Diwali. And so if you would like to come and join with us after you have left your dears at home at 7.30 to uh, 9 o'clock, we'll be having special Devi Puja dedicated towards Mata Lakshmi. And so we'll be singing the glories of Mata Lakshmi, performing Puja and reverence with the Queen. May the blessings of the Lord be upon each and every one of you. A special occasion or make one of your dreams come true? Then visit La Roya Banquet Hall, conveniently located just off the 401 East at 185 Wesley Road South in Ajax. Elegantly appointed in creams and golds, the facility now caters to every nationality. To reserve your special occasion, call now at 905 426 7692 or visit LaRoya's website at www.laroya.ca. Electrical and auto body needs, contact Kevin at Final Touch Automotive Body Shop. Located at 32 Bryden Drive in Toronto, Final Touch specializes in collision repair and restoration services for all types of vehicles. With staff of over 25 years of experience, Final Touch Automotive Body Shop is a one-stop shop for all your vehicle needs. Call Kevin now at 416-566-8856 to book an appointment. If you're looking to buy, sell, rent or invest in real estate, look no further. Nigel Mohan, the number one sales rep in Toronto. Nigel comes with over 18 years of experience and a proven track record. Nigel offers flexible commission rates for sellers and he is committed to ensuring his clients obtain the highest level of service. Contact Nigel now for a free consultation at 416-587-8638. So in today's program, I would like you to welcome a youth of Maharujadev Mandir, Trishni Singh, who will be performing a classical dance in worship to Maharudradev.
and auto body needs contact Kevin at Final Touch Automotive Body Shop located at 32 Bryden Drive in Toronto Final Touch specializes in collision repair and restoration services for all types of vehicles with staff of over 25 years of experience Final Touch Automotive Body Shop is a one-stop shop for all your vehicle needs call Kevin now at 416-566-8856 to book an appointment. A special occasion or make one of your dreams come true? Then visit La Roya Banquet Hall, conveniently located just off the 401 East at 185 Wesley Road South in Ajax. Elegantly appointed in creams and golds, the facility now caters to every nationality. To reserve your special occasion, call now at 905-426-7692 or visit LaRoya's website at www.laroya.ca. If you're looking to buy, sell, rent, or invest in real estate, look no further. Nigel Mohan, the number one sales rep in Toronto. Nigel comes with over 18 years of experience and a proven track record. Nigel offers flexible commission rates for sellers and he is committed to ensuring his clients obtain the highest level of service. Contact Nigel now for a free consultation at 416-587-8638. Point in time on Raya, we join our Dr. Sachin Ramki soon. He will be presenting a talk on hypertension. Sita Ram and welcome to another episode of Health Corner. My name is Dr. Sachin Ramkisun, and today we are speaking about hypertension. Hypertension, or high blood pressure, is a very common med medical condition that affects about 25% of Canadians. These numbers are very similar in the South Asian and West Indian populations. We must all be aware of this disease and its complications because of how common this problem is. Blood pressure is characterized by two numbers, the systolic and diastolic pressure. This is a measure of the blood pressure when the heart is contracting, the systolic pressure, and when the heart is relaxing, the diastolic pressure. A normal blood pressure is around 120 over 80, but our blood pressure will vary depending on how relaxed we are, the time of the day, or if we are experiencing any pain or anxiety. Therefore, high blood pressure cannot be diagnosed on one pressure reading only. Your family physician will take a series of blood pressure readings in order to get an accurate average since so many conditions can cause blood pressure to become temporarily elevated. A consistently elevated systolic blood pressure over 140 or a diastolic pressure over 90 is defined as hypertension. Chronically high blood pressure is a very serious condition since it can affect many organs in the body over time. High blood pressure increases the chance of strokes, heart attack, congestive heart failure, aneurysms, peripheral artery disease, and kidney failure. This is why it is so important that we are all aware of hypertension and how to manage it. What makes hypertension so dangerous is that it does not have any symptoms unless it becomes very advanced. This is why hypertension is called the silent killer. Your family physician will routinely check your blood pressure during an annual physical exam to identify any silent elevation in blood pressure. Some of the symptoms of very high blood pressure include headaches, dizziness, ringing in the ears, visual changes, chest pain, or shortness of breath. These symptoms rarely occur if the blood pressure is less than 180 systolic or 110 diastolic. In other words, these symptoms do not typically appear unless the blood pressure is very high. The best strategy is always prevention. To reduce the chances of developing hypertension, there are a number of lifestyle changes that can be made. These include 
maintaining a normal body weight with a body mass index between 20 and 25, reducing your daily salt intake, have a regular aerobic exercise 30 minutes each day for at least five times per week, limit alcohol consumption to no more than one drink per day for women or two per day per men, consume a diet rich in fruit and vegetables. If you have been diagnosed with hypertension by your family physician, the first line of treatment is a trial of lifestyle changes to see if the blood pressure can normalize. The lifestyle changes are the exact same as those just mentioned for prevention. Studies have shown that these lifestyle changes can have a significant impact on lowering, lowering blood pressure and can be as effective as medication in some cases. One of the most important lifestyle changes is reducing your overall salt intake. You should not have to add salt to any food that you cook, since there is more than enough already added to the food items that we purchase. The DASH diet is useful to reduce blood pressure. This includes a diet rich in nuts, whole grains, fruits, and vegetables. If a trial of lifestyle changes fails to adequately reduce the blood pressure, your family physician may then start medication. There are a number of choices for medical therapy, each with their own mechanism of action. The important point is that if you are instructed to take your medications every day, that you do not skip days. Many people only take their medication if they think their blood pressure is high. This is dangerous since there are no symptoms of high blood pressure unless it becomes critically high. Another recommendation is to purchase an automatic blood pressure machine that you can use to record your blood pressure at various times during the day. You can then review this with your family physician on a monthly basis and these readings represent a fairly accurate average of your blood pressure. It is also recommended that you take your blood pressure machine to the doctor's office once every year so that it can be checked for accuracy. Hypertension is very common and it often is ignored until it becomes very advanced. It is our hope that with a little more knowledge of this disease and how it presents that we can better understand and cope with the silent killer. Thank you for joining us on Health Corner and I look forward to speaking with you again on Rudraya. Back to Rudraya. I have here with me our spiritual leader, Pandit Ravi Sharma, who's going to be giving you some information about the services that are happening at Maharuja Dev Mandir. Shri Sitaram Chandra Ke Jai. We'd like to welcome you and yours to come and join with us every Monday for Shivji Puja. It starts promptly at 7 p.m. and concludes at 8.30 p.m. This is worship towards Bhagwan Shiva through the meaning of the Lingam. We have every Tuesday night Puja to Shri Hanumanji. Anamanji Chalisa path has been read as well as Archana Sankat Mochan path. It starts at 7 p.m., concludes at 8.30 p.m. And every Friday we have prayer to Shri Durga Devi. Again, worship is done towards the Divine Mata, Bhajan Kirtan Archanam. Durga Chalisa is sung. We start at 7 p.m., we conclude at 8.30 p.m. In addition to that, every Sunday we are all gather here and we do special bhajan. Starts promptly at 10 a.m. and concludes promptly at 12 p.m. In the end, we do have pretty Boj. Our food has been prepared for everyone. We hope to see you and yours on these events. God blessing. Well, my dear viewers, we have come to the end of Rudraya. We would like to thank our kind sponsors at Maharuja Dev Mandir, as well as our executive producer, Gary Khan. On behalf of Maharuja Dev Mandir, we would like to wish you and your family Shubh Diwali. May Mother Lakshmi shower her choicest blessings upon you and yours. Please join us at the Mandir as we celebrate Diwali on Wednesday, October 22nd from 7.30 to 9 p.m. We will be doing special puja to Mother Lakshmi. Remember, the Mandir is located at 850 Tapscott Road, Unit 48 in Scarborough. For more information on our services, please visit us at our website, www.maharujadevmandir.com or email us with your feedback and comments at maharujadevmandir at gmail.com. Shubh Diwali, Namaste.